move on. I'm on Chalk Hill Road, uh, cross of 128, Highway 128 and Chalk Hill Road. I'm not going to be able to really get to all the questions or the comments, I'm sorry. So they're uh, working hard to defend this structure. You can see the propane tank's already venting. Uh, as long as it's venting, we're okay. I'd appreciate it if you'd share the broadcast. That'd be great. Audio good. I hope it's good. Got my uh, new fancy dancing mic. Hopefully it's good. Good audio. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I give that tank a little burst there. Hold on. Guys are gonna kind of move. hiding in the trees there. Chalk Hill Road, Highway 128. That's my location right now. The Kincaid Fire near Sonoma, California. The propane tank did not explode, it is venting, still venting. doing what they can to defend this home. They already lost an outbuilding. Looks like maybe it was the garage. They're getting access to that. They don't want to lose this home. the Kincaid Fire. We're at Chalk Hill Road, Highway 128. These guys are doing what they can to, uh, man, that guy's taking some heat. They're doing what they can to uh, protect these structures here, this one home here. They must have some fire underneath the porch because uh, they're working hard to get at that. The uh, garage looks like it's already going pretty well here. So they're just gonna keep it off of, uh, keep it off the main structure guys have been at this uh, pretty much all day and night and they uh, still got hustle you guys hear that thing all right cavalry's coming in 
here comes the cavalry. Uh, when they start to whistle is when uh, you really need to uh, get excited about that tank. As long as they're venting, it's not too bad. You can't start putting water on that tank unless you can continually put water on it until it completely cools down. It's best just to let it alone. They don't have enough water for that. Okay, I'm in the uh, Chalk Hill area of the Kincaid Fire. Chalk Hill Road and Highway 128. Thank you so much for all the heart. I would really appreciate it if you share this with me. Another, uh, I think that was a structure that already went to the ground. And these guys, man, they got some major hustle going on in their step here. They've been at this for a couple of days now. thing that's probably where that strike team's going they'll leave this structure with these two engines they're doing a pretty bang up job thank you so much for all the heart please uh share the broadcast i would appreciate that very much This isn't the front, this isn't the main advanced 
dancing fire front or anything like that. This is just one small portion of this fire. down in there they got to it that will save this home awesome I see a new subscriber on my YouTube channel that's awesome when you get to a thousand we'll probably be going live on YouTube so uh, if you're watching run over and subscribe to my YouTube 564 fire on YouTube and of course Instagram and Twitter Close to Highway 128 on Chalk Hill Road. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. All right. Now they've got all that water to play with right there. Got a little trash pump in there. They can fill up their tank. They can fight fire. That has multiple uses. And they always will try and grab a local water source anytime they can. My YouTube channel is 564 Fire, just like on here. So with this trash pump that they have down here, they can fill up their engine. They can also fight fire with it. It's not like the same pressure as the engine, but it'll still work. And if this wasn't available, they will always try to grab the garden hose from the home and fill up, you know, just fill up their tank. Every little bit helps. That's a very common tactic. Awesome, thank you. There we go. See, once it once they get the prime and they'll get it set. It takes a minute. That thing will that thing will bust out some pressure. Yeah, boy. There we go. Here we go. Now they got unlimited water. They can go after this. They didn't want to use their tank water for this because it's already a total loss. Now that they've got this unlimited water supply from this pool, they'll go after this because that'll throw firebrands and they want to keep the firebrand production down to a minimum because that's just going to go start more fires. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. These guys are awesome. They're kicking some ass tonight. Or I guess this morning.
they can't leave this. They need to at least get it on the ground where uh, firebrand production is at a minimum before they go. Uh, these guys have done a hell of a job knocking this thing down. They saved this home, there's absolutely no doubt. They had fire down in the stairs right there below the deck, the little short deck. They opened that up and killed it. They got their trash pump in their pool and now they're knocking this down so to stop the firebrand production. As soon as this thing's on the ground, they'll probably move on. I'm getting hit, whatever. All right. All right. That's good. Firebrands still just blowing out of these treetops here, so they'll knock all that down before they leave. These guys are going to be here for a while. There's still some work to do here, but there's, I mean, it's endless. It just continues on down there. This same thing is going on down the road. Firebrand, firebrand is those little embers that you see flying through the air. Those, those are firebrands. Ember, firebrand, same thing. In a very extreme wind, those things can go up to a mile and start a spot fire out in front of the main fire. And that's one of the ways that fire spreads rapidly like that. So they want to knock all that down and stop that fire spread. Yes, you're right. Uh, Hot 666, spot on. Okay. Hey guys, I'm gonna, I know there's a lot of people watching and, and I'm super grateful for that. I'm gonna shut this down. I'm gonna go down the road a little ways and uh, I'm gonna be here for a few days. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of, of scopes coming. Uh, so just hang on and I'll, and I'll be back. I'm sure I'll be back here in a little bit. As long as I have signal, um, I'll be back. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the hearts. That's so awesome. Thank you for the shares. And uh, I saw several new subscribers to my YouTube. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. And uh, until I see you guys again, peace.